Hello, all my beautiful heroes. Happy Sunday! Hello, hello, guys. Uh, welcome to Sunday stream. It's a uh, kind of sleuthy, maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome uh, to Jora Sassy Fizz Blinded Blinded. Thank you for the resub. Happy thirty-one months. Happy thirty-one months. Uh, we're playing on a vow today. What what good timing? It's like I planned it, only I didn't. Uh, we're playing on a vow today. Uh, as far as I know, this is like a game about demon possession or something. Um, another another Miro's Mist, but also I think a little bit sleuthy. A little bit. Uh, let's get some sound going. Let me know how that is for you guys because this game was hella loud earlier, so... Uh, I also can't resize the windows, so chat's over here today. Demon detective murder cult, that's what it would seem, yes. Uh, the synopsis on scene said that we... Hold on. Click out of the window, the music stops, so forgive the silence. A demon has possessed you and used your body to tear a swath of bloodshed through New York. You are now free, but your life as you knew it is over. Your only path forward is joining, joining the unavowed, an ancient society dedicated to stopping evil, no matter the cost. So basically a demon like abused your body and you have to find out what the fuck you did, I guess, is what it sounds like. So it's going to be a good one, I think. Um, but yes, happy Sunday. So um, announcements. Uh, I went over the amount of gifted subs, and I'm pretty sure we already hit 100. So I took the goal away, we've hit 100. We'll do an art stream probably uh, next weekend, and it will probably be on Saturdays. I think I'm going to have to start moving my streams, my weekend streams to Saturdays, uh, which will then bump Fridays to probably Thursdays. I'll work it out, I'll announce the new schedule, I'll get the schedule down below as well. It'll be on Twitter, Discord, all the good places. Uh, so I will get that worked out and let you guys know the schedule for next week and You know future um, Yes, the the points goal is still going on. Thank you Jora for contributing to it uh, If you guys would like to donate your channel points your rads towards the play the raccoon trash panda game with bogs Please feel free to do so uh, What are we sitting at? You think it'll tell me 40% I set that way too high. I'm so sorry. We might be able to do it, maybe. I should probably stream more often, give you guys more opportunities. Wait a minute, can you, can you uh, put points in when I'm offline? Is that a thing you can do or can you only do it during streams? Curious. Um, okay, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into the uninvowed, make you guys a bit bigger. I think only during stream. No, because the chat's not active when you're not online. Oh yeah, that's right. They like changed the layout, didn't they? Hmm, tricky. Okay, I'm gonna hit new game so that this demon stops because I can't, this noise is horrendous. Oh, that's really bright. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire. So shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. This is a uh, really intense, really fast. Um, what's going on? Silence. Okay. Now answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? I would like to believe I'm a woman. I might be a demon though. Uh, you could extend it to give us more time because you know you want us to get it. Oh, yeah, no, I def if we don't reach it, I will try to extend it. I'm not entirely sure how it works and whether or not I have to, like, cancel it and start it again. But we'll we'll get there. We'll do it. I'm ra Raccoon isn't an option, Sassy. I don't... Mm, I think we're going to have to go with one of these. Uh, just because this man is wielding maybe a shovel or a pickaxe or something, a stick of some kind, I'm going to go with woman. Oh, maybe that was the wrong decision. Demon, your power over her mind is waning. Release her now. Release her before I am forced to destroy you. Remember, you are human. Remember. Oh my god, please don't tell electrocute. Us, before the demon regains control. Your name. Tell us your name. Oh, uh, Miro. If I put Mirp, they're definitely going to think I'm a demon. 
They misspelled Delon. How dare? Should I just name myself Delon or that might be too suspicious? Let's we'll go with Miro. Evil spirit. She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Yes. Correct. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Um. Quick. I'm an actor. I'm a police officer. I'm a bartender. Oh, I'm a police officer. Straight up, detective. Yes, she's beginning to remember. Sworn to protect the innocent from those who would do them harm. Yep, Inside that's me. You is a spirit who will destroy many unless you stop it. Do your duty one last time. Fight it. Remember who you are. This man looks like he's done too many drugs. Remember. Also, Sassy, I don't think I said it. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Post Apocalypse, welcome to you as well. How's it going? I used to be an adventure like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Always an arrow to a knee. Okay, so we're in All somewhere. Right, please. Just one thing before we get going. I uh -huh. want you to take one. You think you're ready? Yes, take point. So we are actually a cop. Wait, did I guess that right? Hell yeah. I just wanted to be a detective. Um, re really? You sure? You sure about this? I'm not. Okay. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform who called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. Can you guys hear this okay? Can you guys hear the audio all right? I need background to come out. Me too. Didn't it say it was supposed to come out in 2020? They're kind of running out of time here. Uh, who's Franco Marino? Guys, you haven't heard of him. He hasn't exactly made waves. Just do your job. Get statements. Talk to Marino about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. Should we go to the alleyway? Where are you going? Okay. In case you forgot, you've got a badge. You don't need to sneak around. But what if I did, though? Uh, the door to Club Eternox? Eternox? Is this supposed to be like Eternal Night? Nox is night in Latin, so... And then Eternal. Uh, you're not much of a clubber, but you hear it's popular. Your partner and mentor, Vic Vicky Santina. She seems on edge tonight. This is what folks are considered goth these days? You don't even know anymore. Wait, can I click on it? No. Dark alley behind the club. Oh, we have an inventory. Oh, look at my badge. New detective badge. The shine still hasn't worn off. Look at how good we are. And we got some settings. Okay, cool. Probably the situation this year pushed him back a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that being the case. I feel like game development, though, is one of the things, like, one of the only jobs that would adapt really well to just being at home. I feel like. Anonymous cheer! Thank you for the biddies! Thank you for the ghost biddies! I appreciate those a lot! Guys, love in the chat for the, uh, large amount of spooky ghost biddies from an anonymous cheer. I love the little ghost emoji that comes with anonymous cheers. He's so cute. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate those. That'll help out the stream a ton. Uh, I'm trying to save up, you guys. I, maybe I should make this a goal or something? I don't know. But just so, to keep you guys in the know. Uh, I'm trying to save up uh, to get a new green screen situation uh, for when Boggs and I move into the new house. Um, currently, I just have like a sheet on a wall, so my desk has to face a wall. Uh, and in the new house, the the bedroom that will become my office doesn't have like the space really to do that because most of the walls have windows and you can't put a green screen over a window. It doesn't work like you need a wall. <laughs> so trying to save up for one of those like weird pop up green screens that can just go anywhere. That way I don't have to be against a wall, but we have like six months. But uh, yeah, that's that's our current. That's currently what we're working towards for stream improvement. I also want to get a stream deck at some point. But I'm probably gonna have to have like Luckless or somebody teach me how to do that. Oh god, yeah, the Elgato one, yeah, probably. There's like a lot of third party ones now on the market though. Um, I don't know if any of those are like good enough quality. And they're about the same price point. So I don't know, Pro I would probably go with the Elgato one. Every time that I've checked though, the Elgato one's been out of stock, like constantly, it's bizarre. 
lot of up and coming streamers with this quarantine, I think. Hard green is the best green. Also, welcome, Error. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. Someone say goal? I mean, no, because we've. Error, you, you missed it at the top of the stream. I counted up the subs. I'm pretty sure we met our goal for the art stream. So we're, we're going to do that. I'm pretty sure there was enough gifted subs that it just wasn't counting that uh, we're good to go. You're going to summon AJ. Goal. The word goal summons AJ. Um, okay, she's at the front of the line for all the good it does her. Uh, a line of fishnets, long coats, and white makeup extend around the block. Can we click on these people? Can we talk to them? This new Epifish track is tight. Epifish? Okay. You can hear, he can hear you from Australia. Shh, whisper guys. AJ is hopefully and better be sleeping right now. Sassy, isn't that what we say to you like every weekday though? When it's like 4 a.m. and you're here, we're like, Sassy, you should be sleeping. Been standing here for an hour. You gonna fix this or what? Not for nothing, but this really sucks. Wait, they aren't letting people in? Is that their complaint here? Sorry, club's closed for now. You want in, you'll have to wait. Uh, I'm here, this is Vicky. We're with the NYPD, bitch. I think it's really ironic that this character almost kind of looks like me. This is spooky resemblance with the brown hair. Uh, I hear there's been some sort of problem. Yeah, I'll just announce myself. Yeah. You got any proof of something? Sure. Gonna need that before I let show you, you my badge. It's your show, partner. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Uh, it looks legit. About time you guys showed up. Natives here are getting a bit restless. If you want to talk to Mrs. Thoris, she's inside. You do count, Sassy, because sleep is healthy. <laughs> you may not shave children, but we still love your body and we still love your body being here. Uh, tell me what went down. I see much. I was out here checking for fake IDs when that cop ran inside and saved the day. By the time I knew what was happening, it was over. Up. Yeah, the guy was like... I don't know, Bruce Lee or Bruce something. Lee, oh. I don't know what he did, but he did it fast. Anyway, you can go in. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. What is he Just talking about? What you gotta do so we can reopen? Give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. Is this gonna be the dude in the duster that was on the roof, like, kicking ass? Are you ladies with the police? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Loris. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess. Uh, what? It, it's so loud in here. Can you hear me? Wait, you don't know? Why aren't you? What do you call it? Freak? Well, whatever. You into those goth girls? Yeah. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. Those long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then, then that Officer Marino stormed in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Bruce Lee, huh? The Which direction, error? Well, up it's true or down all. All three of them and yes there is a way the then he dragged them off the back room and i plan to do it as soon as this dialogue ends okay here for the time being i can do this and then we'll have to turn the music down later we don't frisk here just so happen. loud nothing like this has ever happened before those kids they're regulars here they come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they do something like this. Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess you need a statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need me. Lord help me. Oh my lord. Too much. Too much. There we go. Much better. Oof. Okay. Um, so Angel keeps watch over the dance floor. Rows of top shelf liquor that you'd never could afford on a cop's salary. Let's talk I to her again. The city made cops like that anymore. How's That's that volume? TV, anyway. Her black lace goth outfit is quite flattering. You wonder where she bought it. The goth store, duh. Hey, you good to fly solo? I want to talk to the owner for a bit longer. Sure. Thanks. When this is done, 
first rounds on me. Look, I know I'm being a bit unorthodox, but trust me, okay? You're doing great. This game has a Delon, uh, ma'am, a Delon occult, a hot goth girl, and metal tunes in it. I read it nine out of ten due to the lack of raccooning. Well, I mean, if if a goth kid's makeup runs enough, they might look like a raccoon. So this kid on the couch is a candidate. Um, Officer Marino. I'm fine, Detective. Never better. I guess you want to know what happened? I was doing yes. my rounds. I was just passing by, and I heard screams from inside. I ran in. I found these three armed with knives and prepared to attack innocent civilians. So I disarmed them and cuffed them. This dude does deserve a raise. Uh, you did that all yeah, by yourself? All by myself. Ask around. Get everyone's statements. They'll back me up. Okay. All right. I want a fucking chandelier like this in my house. Yes, please. Look at that. That's hot. <laughs> uh, this window overlooks the dance floor. You can see Vicky and the owner conversing below. Francis Marino is the fattest cop in the 120th precinct. He looks pale. His eye keeps switching. Is he going to be okay? You guys also want the chandelier? You know what's up. All right, let's talk to these I don't punks. Know what came over me. I don't do stuff like this. But that cop stopped us. It was it was like a Bruce Lee movie. This is very suspicious. What is going on? We couldn't fight him. He was like Bruce Lee or something. What is going on? Hey, Cookie! Thank you for donating points towards the goal. I also love all things purple. Hey, Fizz, someone someone loves Bruce Lee. I, it's almost like they've been brainwashed. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Wait, who's Bruce Lee? That's hey, suspicious. Was I interrupting anything? Just talking to the suspects. Yes, yeah, suspects. So, Marino. Yeah, you, you can only do collar here. You can only do 2000 first Thank stream. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just curious about one thing. These three are all restrained. Police issue cuffs, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Funny thing. The standard officer's kid only has two pairs of handcuffs. So I just gotta know. Where'd the third pair come from? Very suspicious. See that, Franco? You got us both so puzzled. You got an answer for us? Yeah, I, uh, took an extra. That was lucky. You didn't need three cuffs when you took down that mugger yesterday. Just the one. Or what about those two deli robbers the day before that? You only needed two cuffs then. But today, you take down three bad guys, and you just happen to have three pairs of cuffs. Very suspicious, my man. Marino Arino? Oh my god. <laughs> Your regular super cop, Marino. What, what's go what, what's going on, Marino? My job. Your job? Right. All the suspects in all those crimes, they all had perfect records before you arrested them. And speaking of records, what about yours? You've had an unremarkable career up until this week. Care to explain this sudden shift in direction? I've... I've been reading. Oh. Reading? What, like... The Devil's Handbook? Or something? Or something. I did a great job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll, I'll just go call this in. That was the Devil's Handbook, 100%. I don't know about you, but I always carry 10 pairs of handcuffs on me. All my interactions are like Bruce Lee movies. Wow. Dedicated civilian with 10 handcuffs. That sounds like you just are at any moment ready for like a bondage orgy. Uh, put that, put that book down. I'm sick of taking orders from you. Put it down. For 10 years I've been the bottom of the totem pole, the butt of everyone's jokes. I tried to get ahead. Really, I tried. Nobody ever gave me a damn chance. Uh, what, what'd you do to Vicky? She'll be fine. She'll think I'm a hero. <laughs> Always. Just like you will. Drop the book now. Fuck. Okay, okay. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just 
Put the gun down. Take it. Just take it. I don't even know what I'm doing with that thing. Poor dude. Great, now we're possessed. Look, I, I had no choice, you understand? I've been stuck in this uniform for ten years. Ten years! I can't take it anymore! Then I found that book. Well, what would you do? <gasps> Fuck! What the hell? Oh. Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? So much for the hot goth. So much for our job. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. I have a feeling I'm not going to be a cop for very long. Witness, and the soul whom you hold captive. I cast you out. Oh. Poof, my possession. Gotcha. What? I don't have it. Uh, touch him. Help him. Oh, it's me. Stand back. Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. Oh, you're just taking a snoozle? The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. That's me, totally harmless. Uh, tell me what's going on. She doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled. What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. Who goes around with a it sword? Has been a long night. Please come with us, and we will explain everything. Oh man, I'm gonna get so fired. Okay, Thank right you. behind you. Gratitude, at least. This way, please. A sword, how practical. Look, yeah. She's. A, we've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs when you're ready. We'll explain everything. I feel like, We're uh... the good guys. Uh, Honest. I'll wait. <laughs> I feel like... Uh... No, now my thought's gone. Oh, I feel like she's, like, bringing a sword to a gunfight all the time. Like, that's not gonna be great. Uh, judging by the view, you're somewhere in Brooklyn. Near where... Nowhere near your beat on Staten Island. I am blocking the words. Hmm. Look, guys, I'm spooky. I'm possessed. There we go. That's better. Let's just go. Holy shit! Do take your time. Soak it all in. Did I, did I do that? Ooh, did I do that? Oh no. An old woman lies crushed under the table. Uh, this faces man has been beaten beyond recognition. This man is slashed in several places. You only hope he went quickly. Oh, this lady's on the wall. Impaled straight through the heart, hanging like a rag doll. That one might just be a foot. Oh, man. A large mess of debris blocks the front door. At least the rain is keeping the crowds away. Well, time for me to leave out the back. Have a nice life. Okay, bye. Do not touch that door. <gasps> Jesus, Madonna. She must face this. No, I want to leave. <laughs> oh, man. You know, this is my kind of game, right? So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? Who did this? Did you do this? Who, who did this? No, no, it was neither of us. Although we tried our best to prevent it. These innocents, innocents of the city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. That's it's not me, that's impossible. <laughs> this was a wild party. It was... 
something and I had nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. I think you'll nope. find your definition of impossible is about to change. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you slaughtered those police officers. And a those whole year? I've been wreaking havoc for a whole year. I thought this was the same night. I thought I like killed the people in the club, wandered down the street to a deli, shot up some more people, and then they came and stopped me. An entire year? Fuck. Oh man. We really need to learn how to clean up, right? So let me grab a mop. Difficult Tuesday, really. Oh. Your body did, if that's what you mean. That club's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. I'm and so it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. My bare fucking hands. Someone called the dude from Viscera Cleanup. Yes, please. Hey, Beagle, welcome. How's it going? Uh, the, 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 thank you for saving. This is horrible. All of the above? Uh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, well, you're welcome. I'm just sorry we didn't get to you sooner. Me fucking too. Yes, your demon self proved elusive, but your gratitude is appreciated. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did. And it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away. But we should not tarry. Tarry? God, I even got blood on the, on the fucking light fixture somehow. Incredible. Alright, I guess we leave now. You guys coming? Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. This? This magical pipe? Pipe! Oh, what the fuck is that? You've gotta be kidding me. This place... Much has changed. I'm sorry, Preacher. Groot. Who are you and what is your purpose here? What are you doing here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jen Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. I didn't do that. It wasn't me. Nobody here has done such a thing. Definitely wasn't me. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a oh, lot of Oh, thank God power. it actually wasn't me. Eli, it's Eli's Probably fault. enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Neophyte mage, playing with forces you don't understand. Guys, mage ten out of ten, we can go through the trash. Smudge. Ten out of ten. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. I can smell your power, mageling. You have none left. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. Oh! That may be true, but stand we shall. You just Since ate my face so off! Honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting uh. here. Huh. So you're just as tired as we are. I need him That's to stand stalemate, in the puddle friend. first, I think. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. 
I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all? What type of food do you require? On this plane of existence, human flesh is all... No, 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 stop! Oh, okay, he got his dinner again. God damn it. Of course it is. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. Agreed. Oh. I cannot allow that. Depart in peace. There need not be bloodshed. I need uh -huh. to feed. I will die otherwise. Go. How about I snap? That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. We're not going to talk about how he ate my face off twice, are we? What the fuck, guys? We cannot say for sure. This creature is from across the void. There are so many that they defy categorization. It's a ligamental. A what? Excuse me? It's made up of ligaments and sinew. It fits. Ew. Very well. This creature is a ligamental. <sighs> he looks like he's made out of tree branches. Such agony. What matter of pain is this? Electricity! It hurts. Unlike anything you're I've welcome. ever experienced. Welcome to Earth, bitch. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't Science, be. bitch. <laughs> you, a demon spawn? No. On this mm -hmm. plane? Not me. No, are you, uh, mm -mm. are you talking to me? I can sense the corruption within you. No, that was Why 10 minutes ago. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Oh, great. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. Moo boy, do I have a present for you. There's like six dead bodies inside. Go ham, my dude. What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There's there meat. meat it's a buffet. All you can eat, yes. my dude. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. I didn't do it. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. Do you think this dude's gonna do well I, in an American prison? I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families, loved ones. They'll want closure. A closed I am casket. Too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I say we let him I, eat him. I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Feed him. Feed it him! Is, yes, it is the most practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Good thing we're in an alleyway. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished. You didn't even yes, touch the lady on the I wall. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. Oh no, he ate the I one shall dude. Trouble you again. There was one extra dude on the floor that I guess he ate. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. I just got the achievement burp. This was eventful. <laughs> yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all it is sassy, it definitely Agreed. is. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your situation. Situation? You want to tell her or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but your days as a cop are over. Uh. Indeed. Although you can serve in another way. The demon that infested you, that creature we just defeated, Mere taste of what is out there. You have to be a cop for like a minute. Coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. 
Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you've more than proved yourself tonight. Nice. So, what say you? Will you join what us? What say you? That's so like old English. Uh I'm in. Why not? God. I got nothing else new to do. Blood at last. Let's hunt demons. So, Let's go. Much less creepy in my head. We are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Headquarters? Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. I mean, pretty sure my life already wasn't going to be the same after I spent a year slaughtering people, but yeah. Wow, okay, head, okay, all right, wait, let's take this in for a minute. First of all, our headquarters is somebody's apartment. Um, but we should probably talk about the fact that somebody put candles in the rafters. Like, that seems like a, a straight fire hazard. How would you even get up there to light those? That's not a thing people used to do, is it? Uh, there's a violin and a bow. Uh, certainly some eclectic reading matter in the bookcase. Good, good. Oh, look at this comfy chair. Bottle of brandy, crusted with age. That's disgusting. Clean your alcohol. Ooh, a whole pot of espresso just for you. Somehow it's always hot. Can I, can I get some of that? But it's for me. Drink it. Fucking hell. Okay. A little elephant. Uh, a memento of Siam written on the underside. Empty, stained old sea chest. Oh my god, this place is full of, like, fun relics. God, I would love to just wake up in a room like this, just full of adventure relics. So much time in the rain. Also, you guys must be soaking wet. Yeah, and then we all caught colds. Frame photograph hangs. Oh, we can take this. A frame photograph. What do we got? Oh, that's sad. Oh, man. An old photo of yourself and Vicky in front of the squad car. How did this get in here? Well, that's depressing. Same old poster of a heavy metal band, Axis of Weevil. We got some Jesus on the wall. Silver crucifix might be useful if vampires are real. Uh, tiny twin bed, small, but you slept like a rock. <laughs> Our friend! Dead. We did that. Maybe. Still has yet to be proven. <laughs> Everyone knows you should use dumpsters for fires. Yeah, there should be a bin in the corner, not candles on the ceiling. Correct. All right, let's get out of here. What the fuck? Excuse me, I'm sorry, are you a genie? Did you just come out of this vase? This bottle looks incredibly ancient and is engraved with indecipherable characters. Oh, okay, pretty sure we're fighting a, with a genie. Do not even consider it. What if I break your little house? Please do not disturb those. What if I touch that thing? It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. Centuries? Excuse me? Please do not disturb those. It took uh, all right, lady, you owe you me some awake. answers. Did you sleep well? I'm sorry, you just came this out of a bottle. You. After all you experienced. I suppose I should have seen this coming. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to You came it. out of a bottle. How's that metal band called again? It was uh, Axis Weevil or something like that? Um, You came out of a bottle and I'm not freaking out. I'm processing it. Okay. I believe you might be right. Especially if last night is any indication. Hey, Amp, welcome. I think you're going to make this transition just fine. And this is good. Because there is so little time to waste. My father, Kalash, is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. I have several. Uh, what did I miss? Okay, Amp, so um, we are this lovely brunette named Miro. Uh, <laughs> Miro took her face off several times. True, okay, it was an accident. So um, we were a cop and we reported to the scene of a crime at a club and then uh, a demon possessed us uh, out of a creepy book. 
and we shot our partner in the face we shot everybody in the club in the face and then we dipped out and then a year passed and uh we'd still been possessed by the demon and we had murdered a fuck load of people and these people found us this girl being one of them and she just fucking came out of this bottle so i guess she's like a genie or some shit uh but they found us they exercised us and then said your life is basically fucking over because you're wanted by every cop ever uh so why don't you join our organization and help us hunt like demons and supernatural stuff so that's where we are <laughs> we just woke up at their like base of operations headquarters i think they called it uh oh yeah and as we were leaving the place where our, our latest murders had happened we slaughtered like 16 people um so you had a really good saturday night basically yeah mm -hmm. um so your typical Miro stream. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, lots of murder. <laughs> no, so we, uh, as we were leaving the place where we'd slaughtered a shit ton of people, uh, this weird creature came out and was like, yo, you summoned me. What the fuck? And we were like, we didn't do that. And he was like, yes, you fucking did. And then he's like, I'm hungry. And if I am going to go home through the void or whatever, uh, I need to eat human flesh. And then if you got too close to him, you ate your face off. Um, so did that a couple times. But uh, eventually we just gave him all of the dead bodies in the cafe to munch on so that he could go home. He looked kind of like a weird Groot. But uh, yeah, we'll probably, I have a feeling he'll be coming back. In the city, you can't even rent a space in a bottle for less than a thousand a month. Correct. <laughs> um, okay, what do we got? Sharp little knives. Shot the surface of the target. She's got some some vicious things. Can we touch these things? She wouldn't let us touch that wall, but can I touch this wall? Please do not. No. It won't let me touch. Fine. I'm leaving. Okay, I'm gonna go touch stuff somewhere else. Oh. Alright. We're gonna go touch this picture. Hate your face off? That's not how you kiss a girl? Correct, yes. Aw, he used to be married. Uh, this is Eli, and the girl upstairs was Madonna? Ma mm, I don't remember her name. Madonna? Uh, some preciously calculated fireball trajectories. Yeah, doing good, buddy. Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? Uh, you're throwing you fire. Noticed. And the lady upstairs came I out of the like bottle. I this in my spare time keeps me sharp but seriously it took me a while to get used to this stuff it's not gonna happen for you overnight but you'll get there faster than you think anyway i'm sure you want to walk around i'll be here if you have any questions i like that this guy got the basement room i don't see why not uh can we talk about the uninvat that's what this group is called is the uninvat that's also the name of the game haha -ha. i know a little bit about that what do you want to know uh, what what do we do? Well, we're sort of supernatural Ooh, police. That's something I can I get behind. You can relate to that being a cop and all. Sometimes there's a threat that only we can handle, and we go and handle it. Well, I say sometimes, but lately it's been a lot more than that. Okay, how long have we been Gosh, around? A really long time. Sorry, if you're looking for a history lesson, Mandana or Mandana are the ones to ask. Mandana. As far as I'm concerned. We do good work. I'm never That's gonna remember that. I'm always gonna want to call her Madonna. Uh, you know, I wondered the same thing when I first joined. I mean, we're careful. We use veils. I don't throw fire around Times Square or anything. But the real secret, nobody notices us. It's kind of uncanny. Mundanes go through crazy Mundanes. mental tricks to pretend we're not there. So maybe the mundane world isn't ready for us yet. But they will be. They won't have a choice the way things are going. Uh, who's Kalash? She, Man Mandana, uh, said upstairs that her father was through the red curtain room waiting to talk to us, and I specifically avoided that room. I'm assuming Kalash is her father. Um, more threats? How much is a lot more? Let me put it this way. There are 732% more threats than there used to be, give or take 0.5. A year ago, we'd usually be called out once a month, if at all. Now it's almost every day. And me and Mandana, we're the only ones dealing with it. Until now, anyway. Sure. 
Uh, I'm curious about yourself. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Ask away. Uh, how long have you been with the other Since the Nixon administration. I'm, uh, older than I look. Do I get to live eternal now, or am I still a fucking human? So how old you are you? No, I'm 92. Two. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. Damn. Should I... Where's my wizard powers? Yeah, it it is what it is, okay? I'm a mage. We live long lives. And a story. Uh, why, why do you live down here? Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room not insulated wrong. with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. Okay. You're a wizard? Mm. Never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage with a capital M. The capital is also important. Why? At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Does the fire hurt? Well, kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Whoopsies. I don't feel the cold. He's wearing a long jacket. A liar. Sure. Uh, about last night. You had time to process it? A little I bit. Know I have. A little to bit be time. honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration four to prepare this spell. I gave it everything I had. Four days. days. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that thing. I know the creature was technically blameless, but I'm still not sure we made the right call. I'm sure. Still, I suppose it's too late now. Definitely think letting him eat the corpses was the right move. Uh. You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. Oh, Four I just, okay, he's just gonna say the same thing. Um, could I ask you about some of the pictures on your well, walls? I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe next time. Okay. Uh, a photo appeared on my wall. Do you know how it got there? Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. What the hell? It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. The building is possessed. All right, right. I'll leave See you, you to it. Have a nice fireball life, I guess. All right, let's go talk to the, the big daddy. Oh my God, he's an actual genie. An impossibly old, impossibly muscled, and impossibly blue man gazes into the fire. Oh, look at this. A blue-green crystal glowing with mysterious inner light. Ornate lamp. Oh, colorful painting of a mother and child. Oh my god, the genie dated the pirate and had Mandana 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 fucking hell, I can't I can't do her name. Her mom was a pirate? What the shit? Incredible. Oh my god, is that her little tiny ship? Love it. Uh, the spirits in these bottles are the drinking kind. At least, you hope. I'm gonna drink your friends. Is that okay? Bottle emits a faint hum. That must be his genie bottle. Smoke dances up the chimney from the warm embers of the fire. Alright, let's talk to this man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? Hello, Grandpa Smurf. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, that's what it is. I want my mom to be a pirate, right? Yo ho ho to a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, yes. Um, hi, I'm here. You're blue. I just want to be like the most blunt asshole ever. You're you're blue. No, I am Kalash. <laughs> I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of a the jinn. Avowed, and you Same thing, genie. Were possessed. How would you let that happen? Excuse me. Let it happen. Uh, it was a book. Sloppy. Sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. 
In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Oh, I'm I'm so so tough. He's the in my in my day. 100% dad. Um, I'm a cop. I got hit by lightning. I stopped a monster in the alley. What is our best what is our best argument here? The fact that we were electrocuted? The fact that we used to be a cop or the fact that we stopped that monster? Oh. I feel like lightning is the most badass out of those three. I'm gonna go with lightning. The demon inside you took the brunt okay. of that. Never mind. You don't have a scar on you. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. In murdering people for At a year rate, wasn't good enough. We have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Did that? Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Can we talk about that and about? know a thing or two about that. What do we do? They're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here, and that is all that matters. Yeah, he seems kind of impossible to please, huh, post Apocalypse. Um, how come I've never heard of you before? Oh, how long have we been Nobody around? Nobody knows for sure. Not even I. But this branch is exactly 393 years old. Okay. I know because I founded it. Okay. Taking it in. You founded this yes. place? This city was becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteer, and here I am still. I just want to point out that his little eyeballs glow sometimes. Um, how come I never knew? <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. Mm. But yes, I see I that being the case. It. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But things have changed. Yes, supernatural threats have risen exponentially. It's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. Well, count me in. Well? Uh, I want to ask you about some people we know. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Wow, okay, fine. Not now. What about last night? My opinion will be given during the meeting, rest assured. Okay, fine. Call Indeed. the meeting. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Galash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. Neophyte? Jinns are demons in Persian mythologies. Genie is a blonde thing in the 60s TV show. Uh, with those big round things in front. Technically, uh, Genie is the blue thing from Aladdin. <laughs> um, what are we talking I'm about? Of that. Let's go. Reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise. That is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Don't you mean three? Oh, don't blame them. It was my, it was my idea. It was my that idea. Maybe, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. It's also kind of accurate. Regardless of our choices, the void creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Uh, wait, the demon's yes. still out there? Just waiting to find another hapless victim. No disrespect. Sir, she was a big help. 
Help you would not have needed if you achieved your primary goal. I almost did. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Hooray! New mission! Uh, I'll just keep quiet on this one. The, the Aladdin, the genie Aladdin came later. Uh, when the genie from the TV show banked Thanos. Thanos? Actor? You don't quiet. Say much, I'm keep quiet. You? Well, that needs to change. Okay. Starting Wrong right now. choice again. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Uh, void activity? Activity from beyond the void. Do try and keep up. Well, wow, this guy's are rude you as sure shit. She's ready to go out into the field so soon. These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by I trial. can handle it. Sink or swim. I can handle it. Or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed new girl? Now is your chance. Meeting. I got this. No problem. Okay, bye. Well, I guess that settles that. Really wish I could end conversations by just zipping into a fucking bottle. Just be like, deuces. Fade out of existence. Get your face eight. Again, why don't you? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, I guess we should get going. Yes, as soon as possible. <sighs> and I really hoped I could take the day off. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Let's go. Eli is engrossed in a book. Looks like the and Donna counts the cracks on the subway floor. Eli, the K-Train was discontinued in 1988. Was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. You did, in 1986. <laughs> It'd be weird to live a long oh. life, not be able to keep shit straight. So, I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. No, we will not. Oh. Uh, Aster Place Station. I'm blind now. Oh, this place just like infinitely rains. Hmm. Still raining. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Well, the night is young. Okay, well, you guys just stand there and talk. I'm gonna get going. I got shit to do. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? This game came out two years ago? Yeah, and I think it's by the team that did Kathy Rain, if I remember right. Uh, ooh, not, uh, ooh, there's a cop there. I'm a wanted criminal. So there is. But you have nothing to fear from him. Not with the veil in place. Veil? Yeah. It became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Cool. Nice. Uh so it doesn't make sense, but it's safe than sorry. Of it as a perk of membership. In a sense, the veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Hell yeah. Um, normal folks don't recognize me, but supernatural folks can. Got it. Good. Let's keep going. Uh, real quick. I'd like to maybe turn down the, the rain just a smidge. A little bit too rainy. All right. Uh, it's been a long time since you were in uniform. This officer wells it well, despite the rain. Can't he have like an umbrella or something? Poor dude. Uh, you've only been on a few arson cases, but they're, they've they never been pretty. Let's talk to the man. Evening, ma'am. What happened here? Who wants to know? Uh... 
Yes, I am a cop. I am a fellow cop like you. You're mid Midtown South Precinct, right? I recognize the badge number prefix. Hmm. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. It's been in the news, but I don't blame you if you don't read that stuff. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. Oh my God, this was a homeless shelter? Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attacked this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. Off a way to I go. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Of course not. Uh, are you sure it was arson? That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Okay. Rough nice yeah, to be out. You could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. Okay. I don't blame you. See ya. I will leave now. Good day. Use Eli. What, what would I use Eli for? Let's walk the block. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... Oh! What just happened to me? Where are you taking me? Ooh, flashbacks to our possession days? Okay. Alright. Taking you out of the cold, that's all you need to know. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Follow me. Did you see that? Did you trip balls? did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you all right? Uh, I'm not sure. You seem okay. I mean, you didn't hit your head or anything. You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kickstarted your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. Psychic spillover. Yeah, psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered, it used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Um, let's go and find Agreed. out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. Locked. Balls. Oh, well, that just figures, doesn't it? Balls. Uh, you can access your companion's abilities via the inventory bar. All right, who's uh, Flamio? And burned the building down. Okay, never mind. No, there are less destructive ways of getting inside. Never mind. Fine. How did he know? That's exactly what I wanted. Need art? Use Julie. Need mirror voice? Use Miro. <laughs> Need to make pasta? Use Blacko. Need to shave children? Use AJ. We're all in our all in the inventory bar. Yeah, because the sword's less destructive. Okay. It is done. Maybe Be aware that if law enforcement really questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. It's a weird character trait, but okay. It smells very human in here. Colorful like graffiti explodes off yeah, the walls. At Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. That is doubtful. It looks like they're like, the graffiti looks like they're worshiping something. Hmm. We got some paper on the walls. It's computer, what's in here? Huh, only one bed in here. The cult leader. Yes, this room was designated to separate one individual from the, the rest. Cult leader's room. Someone of importance, most likely, or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner. Most likely. We got a photo. The sacrificial lambs. Very lavish. I mean, for a homeless person, sure. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. Okay. Why not? Computer? I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? 
I don't think the power's on in this place. So then how was the person using it before? Graffiti spirals into itself, trying to follow it, makes your eyes water. Oh. I got a scrap of paper. PW equals heart. Oh, the password equals heart, probably. Password to the laptop. Water stained mattress. Nothing. I found nothing. I'm, I'm All right, so we must have to go restore the power. That's a fucking ghost. There is a ghost called the Ghostbusters. This is above my pay grade. What the fuck? Hey, Orchestra, welcome. How's it going? What? Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. Don't be alarmed. They just are harmless. Don't be alarmed. Sure. Okay. Harmless? Yeah. They can't exactly do anything, can they? They have no physical form. We cannot interact with them, nor they with us. It is best to leave them be. Is that what they were worshipping? The ghost? Can we try to help it? Forty years ago, I would have joined you. But Mandana's right. There's nothing we can do for them. Death no. is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Poor ghosty. Oh, that's dark as shit. Ow! God damn it. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over... I have no idea. Fireball. I see a damn thing. Fireball, my dude. Please, fireball. Thank you. That's weird. Come on. Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. That's it weird. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Um, not sure what you want me to do there. Oh, no, I don't need you. I want to do this. Not sure what you're trying to do there. Okay, the fuse is blown, so let's pop that baby in there. Oh! Gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Not what I expected. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. What is it, though? A tree stump covered in blood? A blanket covered with lid? That's a dead body. This is a body. Dead man! Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Whoever this was, their face has been eaten away by some kind of moss. Male. Early to mid-60s, I believe. The cause of death Can is you tell that? difficult to determine. He's mummified. He's got vines growing out of him. Uh, there are wounds along his You're neck. Correct. Blade wounds. They are difficult to slip, see then. with all this growth in the way. You have a good eye. So this guy was murdered by a person. It appears so. Had permitted term waifu. That's weird mods. Mods thought talking about waifus needed a 10 second wait. What? Why would it do that? I don't think that's even like a banned word. What in the world? Automod's lost its mind. Um, this thanks for taking care of that for me. Uh, what could do I this? I cannot say, but I believe the answer lies with you. Me. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved, or at least your demon self was. No. Mm -mm. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. This is not my cult. Uh, I don't remember well, anything. Sorry. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. That doesn't sound good. Oh, it's our ghosty. Excuse me, is this body yours? It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear agitated. Let us leave it be. Touch it! Hello? I don't think it even notices you're there. Can you hear me? No response. I am not surprised. Can I ask you some I questions? I don't think it could hear us. Never mind. 
If I touch, if I touch the body, will he get pissed off? Nothing new. All right, so we've got a ghost in the basement. Um. Oh, with the electricity back on, we can go mess with that computer. These drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. Reverence. Reverence, like worship. Hey, Julie, welcome. It is only a feeling. This wall drawing means nothing to me, Eli. It's her time. Journal. Uh, heart. Uh, love. Shit. Peach. Booty. I don't know. I have no idea. So you remember I mentioned you doing a voice for a major RPG I was doing? I do not, but sure. I'm hearing of it now. Hey, Charles, welcome. Is it the name of who they loved? Maybe, but I don't know who that would be. Oh yes, less than three. That's the password, of course. Uh, maybe there's a clue downstairs. Oh, wait, the heart? The heart. Um. Hmm. There's an E. An F and something uh, that's that shape. Hmm. Password. Um, it would probably be the name of this chick, right? I fail to see how I just be smarter um, than the picture. Um, okay. They're not helpful. All right, maybe we come back. Maybe we need more information. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This picture was taken on this street corner. Cause that bar thing is in the background. Ooh, fancy clothing shop. It's just a bunch of homeless people. Uh, compare face to photo. Whoever is in that photo, this woman is not her. Is She's it, lost in her own world. This woman over Maybe here. We should just leave her alone. But this woman. Where, where did you get that? Aha! With all the chaos, uh, big plans have gone on hold, and I'm working on a mini RPG instead, based in the same world. I still have your willingness to voice. I, I mean, sure, it won't be great. <laughs> I will do my best. Uh, how many lines would it be? Like, how extensive are we talking? Maybe it's me? My last name is a bastardization of heart in French? Maybe. Uh, you didn't answer my question. Mine either. Where did you get that? Look, I don't even care. Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. Wendy. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't patronize me. Oh. I know who you are. You're the master. I am the master. You sound so surprised. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void touched. What touched? Void touched. It means. I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either. Either. Bitch. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Can you tell us what happened at the village I building? Should I? Okay. You seem really troubled. Uh, you seem really troubled telling me might make you feel better. Right. 
And I'll bear my soul to you because you obviously care so much. You left us. You don't care about anything. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait. Maybe followers? My you heard me. A short selection, maybe five to 15 lines. Uh, but all short and to the point. Oh, yeah. Totally. Easy. Easy peasy. You got it. Um, you say I left you, what do you mean? What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to <laughs> shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others weren't so lucky. Others, what you others? You never cared, did you? All that time, I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. I lost my memory. I don't you, remember anything. What? You're serious, aren't you? Yes. You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. There's a ghost. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. Uh, there's a dead body. You can't prove a damn <laughs> thing. She's having none of it. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. Uh, there's a forest in the basement. That's crazy. You're crazy. Uh, who's this guy in the picture? You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone. No thanks to you. So we got Jordan and Wendy. Boy, well, can tell you me about and Jordan. I were a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. Uh, okay, yes. I'm gonna leave you alone because you're feisty. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. Master! Address me as master! I will accept nothing less. Um, okay, so it's either Wendy or Jordan. I don't know. This is probably Jordan's computer. So we're gonna go with Wendy. Oops. Yeah! Entry number one. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago, I was fired from my job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago, my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street in the middle of this brutal winter. The homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me. She brought me here. She gave me clothes, warm food, and this laptop. She insisted I keep a journal of my experiences here. She also says I should call her Master. That's fine. I don't care. I'm safe here and I'm not leaving. Heck, if she keeps me alive, I'll call her God. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh no, it deleted your message. I'm so sorry. Okay, Julie. Entry two. The master brought a few more people in. They are all homeless like me. They are all sick. This old guy has lung cancer so bad he's coughing up blood. There is a girl named Wendy who looks to be in consider in incredible pain. Me? I'm still cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I'm not dying. Entry three. Master brought us downstairs. There's a tree growing up through the floor. A tree! Master said that this is the altar of life and it will protect us and heal us if we do the same. She will teach us how. All we have to do is let her cut us and we bleed on the altar. Ha ha ha! What a great cult. Uh, entry four. Oh my god, the energy. Oh man, this is incredible. I am warm. I am warm. So, so warm. It feels so good. Oopsie. Entry five. I have never felt this good. The cold was has completely left my body. The old guy's cough is gone. He's breathing normally. And Wendy is walking around without any pain. Praise the master. Praise. Uh, anyway, when the full game comes to fruition, hoping both... Mira and Julie will be able to voice for it. Yes, keep us posted, Elkester. Good luck. Uh, entry six. There are seven of us now. Master has been cutting us every few weeks. It seems crazy, but we heal right away and we're healthy. That's the important thing. Praise the master. I would be dead if it wasn't for her. We all would be. Entry seven. Merry Christmas! The tree is growing. There's grass on the floor in the basement. It's concrete. With the master, anything is possible. Man. Man, this is the best cult. I love the best cult. Master, master, master of puppets, I'm pulling your strings, twisted mind, smashing your dreams. 
Is that some sort of like fucked up nursery rhyme? What is that? Uh, entry eight. The master needs to leave for a while. And now I'm being put in charge. Me in charge. I'm so honored. Maybe I should password protect the laptop since it's so important now. Entry nine. It's nice having my privacy, but it's kind of lonely in here. I asked Wendy if she would stay the night with me. She said yes. Entry 10. I cut the old guy. He bled like crazy. He didn't heal. I had to run out for bandages. Thank God he's okay. Entry 11. It's freezing in here. I turned the radiator to full blast. It does nothing. Entry 12. When he is limping, the old guy is coughing. I can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore. Master, where are you? You've been gone for almost two months. Entry 13. Uh, oh, Metallica. Oh. I can barely feel my keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Entry 14. I have to leave. I'm sorry, master. I can't do it. Putting Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. Well, that went well. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. Um, I sense a story, Eli. Oh, it's uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a little run in with a golem and a succubus. That a got golem a and a succubus? Story for another time? Sounds right. like a <laughs> bad rituals, joke. Dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli, bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> Master left. Don't know who you're talking which about. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Well, let's get to After it. You? Where are we going to get more information? Downstairs? Ghosty boy? Probably not. Tree stump? No. Dead body? Probably not. Okay. Um. Glaring at anyone who approaches. Shit. We read jo really Jordan's journal. The, oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? I wasn't doing those blood rituals. Hell, you weren't. You were the one who taught us. Yeah. You took me. us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words and we'd heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. What happened next? It all ended is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. But whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. Mm. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. Uh, why did he put you in charge? He loved me. He trusted me to do the right thing and do right by everyone. I didn't expect I would... That I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. So she murdered the dude in the, the basement. murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. Um, did it work? No, it didn't work. Okay. Would I be out here in the rain if it did? I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I, I killed him by accident. I must have been nervous. Oh, that was no accident. Look, we were dying, all of us. A few splashes of blood on the altar wasn't doing the job anymore. So I thought you thought you would kill an innocent man. It wasn't like that. He's probably gonna die anyway he if he was the cancer dead anyway. dude. He had a few days to live at most. So we thought, so yeah, we killed him. I killed him. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit, it came back. It 
was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. So it drove you out? Yes. And so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, there's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn her in. Uh, where's the knife now? I think I'm an idiot. I tossed oh. it down a storm drain. Okay. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now. And good riddance. Um... You said you needed healing. What's wrong with you? Cerebral palsy on my left side. Oof. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Sewer duty? I seriously don't remember. The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. We went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. Uh, where is that key now? Serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um... Goodbye. Well, I was lucky I never would have met you in the first place. Can we go? No. Okay. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Are you a Lovecraftian? Uh, not super. I do enjoy Lovecraft type games, but usually like the chaotic madness and you never get any fucking answers is not as entertaining to me. Like I like knowing why things are supernatural, not just like, and it's madness, if that makes any sense. But I do enjoy some Cthulhu. This is a Cthulhu document. Uh, she'd have killed him even without realizing it. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm always to blame for everything that happens and that's a given. Even if it totally seems to have nothing to do with me. You mean, are you talking about like my character? All right, behind a pipe. The control, this is the control panel. Fuse box. Did you say control panel or fuse box? Uh, behind a pipe on the wall. Nothing like that in here. Hmm. Let's see a pipe. There's these pipes in the foreground, but that's not. Is it outside? What did she tell me? Hold on. I'm gonna go ask her again. <laughs> you serious? But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel. Control behind. panel behind the pipes. Don't. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. If I was lo Control panel. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again, with your fingernail. I am. What is yes. that about? You are not even aware of it, are you? Uh, why is this a big deal? It indicates a loss of control. It is minimal, but... Right. I know. I'll work on that. What in the world? I'm not seeing a control panel.
Unless they mean the laptop? There's no pipes here either. Did I get ahead of the game? Hmm. Eli, can you, um, uh... No? Okay. Um. Maybe we can get him to burn the thing downstairs. Hey, Eli. Burn the thing. My magic is kind of weak down here. Uh oh. I don't think... I am officially stuck for the first time. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can get her to, like, katana this shit? No? I am not using... I cannot speak with lost spirits. I learned long ago that I can't talk to ghosts. So this is this is just a fuse box. It's not a control panel necessarily, and it's not letting me interact with it in any way. Uh, have you read the Necrocomicon? Necrocromicon? Mm-hmm. Not the proper one, but the hardback of H.P. Lovecraft's writing. I have not. No. Oh wait, can she cut me on the altar? No, it's worth a shot. Um, can we maybe talk to this other crazy chick. Rough or not, she doesn't seem to mind. I don't. She's not gonna talk to us. What? Okay, she's not gonna talk to us. Can't rummage through the trash here. Fountain surrounded by bars and junkies. We're not getting any more information out of yeah. her. Um, oh, we can talk to these guys. Uh, any ideas what to do I next? No suggestions, but my sword is yours should you have need of it. That is not helpful. You call this neighborhood the village. I came of an age when that term actually applied. The street, uh -huh. it was a long dirt road. Homes were palatial estates and were few and far between. This city was larger back then, and yet so much smaller. But let us not dwell on the past. Time marches on. We must march with it or be left in the dust. Okay. You need not worry. I will not get arrested. The very idea is so, well, Pardon the term, but so mundane. Running around with a fucking knife. Oh, the veil is on us. Is that why nobody can see your sword? Catch on quick. As long as I keep it sheathed, mundane society will take no notice of it. Nice. Where do we go next? I have. Where about I ghosts? To not knowing much, Eli has made a study of them. I would recommend asking him. Agreed. Okay, let's talk to Eli. What do you then. Need? Eli. Sure. Ghosts. Yes. What do you want to know? Ghosts. Um, Pretty are they much. harmless? From what I can gather, they're barely aware of where they are. Maybe even who they are. Talking to them is impossible. Trust me, I've tried. How come I can see ghosts now, when I couldn't before? Because your void touched now, my friend. Great. When that demon possessed you, you encountered magic. In a pretty intimate mm. and significant way. It left you changed. We call that change becoming a void touched. Seeing ghosts, one of the side effects. To you and me, yes. We appear the same way to them. It makes communicating with them impossible. Uh, why do you know so much <sighs> about ghosts? When I saw my first ghost, I reacted much in the same way you did. I wanted to help them. It didn't seem right to just ignore them. So I read a lot. I tried to learn everything I could. Nothing worked. We all have our strengths. Mine is fire. I was no spirit medium, sadly. Spirit medium? The technical term is bestower. Bestower. Bestowers of eternity. Folks who can see and talk bestower. to ghosts. Bestower. Help them pass on. We heard rumors of one operating in New York, but Kalash refused to make contact. Death is part of the mundane world, he would say. Not our jurisdiction. I could see his point. Uh, we need a bestower. No kidding. He could talk to the ghost and find out what happened here. Guess we figure it out the old-fashioned way. Okay. Sure. 
Uh, what do we do next? Kinda. I used to work about 10 oh. blocks north of here, back in my mundane days. It was just factories and warehouses back then, not the university student mecca it is now. Okay, what do you think Your we should do? Had a there we special go. Knife, uh. one that only it could use. Imagine what studying it could tell us. I guess it's a pipe dream, since Wendy threw it into the friggin' sewer. <sighs> you win, Sassy. You win. We gotta do the manhole. Are you trying to lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? You never know. Maybe the demon gave her super strength. I guess not. Sorry. How am I gonna do it then? Uh, trust me, reading the proper HP Lovecraft version, hardback, a thousand plus pages. Uh, gifts stamped into deep black leather with haunting sketches for the table. Trust me, it's a haunting book, and that one. And that's one that lives in reality? Like, you can get that book? How expensive is that? Oh, use objects or person. Um. Oops, I just clicked on it again, and now we've probably got to do that scene all over again. Okay. Um, Eli? That's cold, hard. Yeah. And Donna? Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Shouldn't it be like a group effort? Racing. Nice. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. What is this movie, Blinded? Yes. No. No, you guys definitely assume that I am older than I am. <laughs> At least um, the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. Water in the pool is boiling like I a raging tea kettle. My of sanitation systems is lacking. But should this water... Huh. E. Looks like Wendy was right. Now what do we do? Hooray, we have the sewer key, but where does it go? Be careful. The heat in this room is Ouch. kind of off the scale. Um. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do. I don't know what I do with this key now. Oh, you need to watch it, not, oh, oh, okay. Well, sure, I'll look into it, if I can, if I can find it. Does this take a key? Does anything take a key? What takes a key? What do you need? What do we, what do, we do? Your demon had a special knife. I guess it's a pipe. Uh, I have. So we didn't find that. Okay, right, back to the sewer. There must have been something I missed. There must be some way to to continue down the pipes or something. Maybe we need to turn off this? That machinery is... He'll touch it. Oh, he doesn't feel hot! Eli Beckett. That's right. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Need a key. Maybe you should try. Okay. What good does this do us? Oh. Turn it on! For the love of God, turn it back on! It's not what I expected. Wait. Master? Master! Master, is that you? It's faster! I knew you'd come back. I knew it. I couldn't leave them. I, I was too weak. Gordon? I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. Jordan? I... I was, yes. But I'm not sure who I am anymore. Do you remember, Master? How you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. 
Uh, yes. Nah, I probably can't. I've forgotten. You've forgotten? I can't lie my way through this. How could you forget? You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything that could help me get So warm you set again. yourself on fire? I'm What'd you so find? I'm sorry, Master. You said that spell was dangerous. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. Oopsie. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Looks like Johnny Storm. It's a Fantastic Four game. <laughs> looks good. Welcome, Paladin. How's it going? Hello. Uh, you were inside the homeless shelter when you cast the spell? Oh, he's the one who set it on fire. Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. No. You misunderstand. The shelter. It burned to the ground. Good job, this... dude. Was anyone hurt? Yes. I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Help me, master. I know I don't deserve it, but please. Help me before I hurt anyone else. I have some questions first. Anything you want. A knife was tossed down. Have you seen it? The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose. After you help me? We spoke to Wendy. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. I don't know about that. She, she what? Why would she do Wendy, that? Wendy killed somebody. Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Uh... Eli, can you do anything to help him? I've been trying, but the fire, it's different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Master, this is all too much. I served you faithfully, and you left when I needed you the most. Yeah. How mm -hmm. do I know you won't leave again? I definitely will. Cure me? Help me? Do that, and I will get the knife for you gladly. Uh, we'll be back. Thank you, master. Did I just turn this back on? I can't. I can't turn that back on for him. Okay, I guess you just burn for a while. Maybe we should go tell Wendy her oh boyfriend's God. on fire. We uh, yeah. found Jordan. I nothing to do with him, oh, okay. and you can tell him that. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but it's not gonna involve him or any of them or you. Uh, maybe you could join I'm up with us. Become your precious follower again. That chance. Not you really what I had in mind. Your experiences have left you void touched. You can see what others cannot. We're you recruiting. Have taken a wrong path for certain, but you could be useful to our cause. Find a place. Redeem yourself, perhaps. You say that like it's easy. Believe me, it's not. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I'm done. Whatever all this crap is, I'm done. Very I bet well. that's probably we'll respect your decision. Uh, normal people's reactions. If I was... Okay, so she wants nothing to do with him. Um... Oh, yeah. Astro, thank you for the free sub. Happy 31 months. Thank you for the continued support. How are you? Hello, hello. Guys, love and chat for the resub. What, uh, how are we gonna put out the, uh, flames of this boy? Oh boy. A sassy black and white hearts. Uh.
what to do now. Should we go tell the cop? Oh, I don't think we need to talk yeah, to him. Can. Oh, we can't. Uh, is there any chance I can look around back there? No. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Ooh. You didn't think about the village they I built. Business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to investigate. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. So you saw nothing illegal nothing going on? Nothing could see from the outside, no. But to be honest, it wasn't exactly high on our priority list. Uh, you need to let no, me back really. there. Give me one reason. Because I'm a detective. So you are. You're with the Staten Island Precinct? Yep. What brings you out here? Business. Uh, classified. Now, serial arsonist? Mm, serial arsonist. Really? This is the first time I've heard of it, but nobody ever On tells the me road? Anything. Where are you, you headed, Falstra? This was torched by the same guy? Business or pleasure? Uh, yes, we won't take long, take I promise. as long as you need. I'm not exactly going anywhere. Hell the yeah. All yours, man. What the fuck is that? That officer believed in your authority without question. She was a cop. It's in her voice, her stance. You can't exactly fake that. It's true. That is not in dispute. You certainly have a gift. Oh, not command. literally on the road. We'll discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Some of you guys travel a lot for work, so I don't know. Uh, what's in this? Is something the matter? Robbie Locker. Freezing. Thing is freezing. That's certainly interesting. Uh, how is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. I know. Bizarre contradiction, isn't it? That's magic for you. A home away so from home. Magic, right? Gotcha. Well, I Are hope you have a safe trip to your real home. Because, well, duh. Eli, can you open this? Just melt it a little bit. Melt. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There. You're a useless fire mage. Again. Oh, there he goes. That's me, Eli Beckett. Enemy of ice. Enemy of ice. All right, what's in here? Oh, more ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. What is it? Ah. Thick block of ice formed inside the locker. A faint shape is visible inside. Melt that. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air and the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to. You're gonna lightning zap it or? Oh. It's a body. Jesus. A body is thawing out. Is this Jordan? Why do I feel like this is Jordan? Look at that. It's like his Not real body. Burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Uh, what would cause something well, like I this? I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. Uh, does this body look familiar? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable. I'm pretty sure it's Jordan. who, I cannot say. Um. Well, the crap yes. is Jordan. I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. Uh, we just saw him alive. Is mm, I don't know. He was kind of really fucking on fire, so I don't know if I would call that alive. It's kind of like a, just a fire spirit. Enemy vice, anything room temperature, I yes. Know. And if his body is dead, that can only mean one thing. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. Well, can we reverse that? And even if we could, his oh. human body is dead. No. There's nothing for him to go back to. 
It's a risk now. We cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. So what do we do about him? Uh, you're the fire expert. Any thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Oh. Let me mull him over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything, anyway. Okay. Let's leave. Touch the body. Is that it? I guess that's it Hope here. You found everything you needed, ma'am. Yep. Just an icy body. Nothing to see here. Eli, I've been meaning to ask. How are you coping? Huh? I'm coping fine. Why? Coping with what? Until recently, we have only entered the field once or twice a month. Now we are out almost every day. I was worried it might be a strain on you. You kidding? This is great. I'm working. I'm doing something. I'm not just stuck in my lab. So don't you worry about me, Mandy. I'm fine. Glad we had this chat. I'm going downstairs. Master? Uh, you went to the shelter. Did? What did you find? We, we went, I mean. Uh, how do I put this? You're kind of dead. I'm... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire so there's no cure oh um no your human body is dead there's no getting around that but you're kind of immortal now that's something isn't it <laughs> it's you a perk. and i have to live like this forever um yeah you should have left me in the cold master you should have left me to die so about that knife no you said you'd help me! I don't care if I'm dead! There has to be a way to end this! Well, we do have one option. We do? I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you are proposing... ...will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful?! It will feel like being skinned alive. It already looks like he doesn't have skin. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it. Eventually. Eventually? Will you shut up about your stupid knife? Not Calm yourself. getting any compassion I points. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Just want yeah. that knife. In another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Fire what? people! Eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? One that continues. You won't have to you eat human flesh, will he? Uh, dimension, all alone. There will be others. It's your decision, time. Jordan. I, I can't. This is all too much, Master. I know you've done your best. Whatever you decide, I will do. I don't want to choose. He'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. Should we shoes, kill him, him or let you him are not in his shoes. go to the void? You make that choice for him. And I apparently have to you. make the choice. I think he should die. He has to that die. He doesn't want to do eternity. True. He's miserable. What say you? Skin him to death I, for an hour or two. I don't know. Do you really want to live like this? Better a life like this than no life at all. Kill him on his but way to the void. Oh yes. That be? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill him. Yes, yes, Master, you are right. Maybe this is how it should be. Maybe I was meant to die that night. Okay. I am ready. <sighs> you guys should wait above ground. I need to focus. And besides, you don't want to be here. This isn't going to be pretty. 
We're just gonna hear his screams. This will come back to haunt us. In one way or another. Are you sure we made the correct choice? No. Uh, he had suffered enough. Yeah, we ask him to suffer more. Perhaps it is worth it in the end. I'm screaming for hours. I am often told that I lack the perspective on such things, not being entirely human myself. Uh, you wanted to save him? That sounds pretty human to me. At the expense of his own humanity, I did not take that into consideration. Oh. Eli, you get the knife? Is he... What about that knife, though? He's gone. You get the knife? It's... <laughs> How, how bad was it? Is he okay? No, he's dead. What kind of question is, is he okay? You look kind of pale, Eli. Yeah, well, I might have lost a few lunches down there. Good thing it's already a sore. Nobody will notice. A few lunches? Jordan gave me the ritual knife before he... Nice, we got the knife. Went. That's all I care about. And? And it's a knife. I'll study it back at my lab. Hopefully find something to make this all worthwhile. Can we hail a cab? I don't feel quite up to the subway right now. Of course. Dead. All right. Now what? Oh, got a new fancy fireball trick. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old text with Firesight. Oh, of course. Right, Firesight, of course. Uh, well, it's cool that with the choices you make, you interact with different people and have slightly different scenes in the game. Oh, that is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, Firesight. Sarcasm you know. received and understood. Sorry. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. That's kind of cool. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. Like a fire kindle. Um, can I try? I wouldn't recommend it. Oh. Not unless you want your eyes to melt. Just as well, this book isn't telling me anything. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Death really magic. Long, really boring. But I used to read books about S Corp tax code for fun back when I was an oh accountant. God, gross. I can handle boring. Ah, well. See you at the meeting. Oh, the meeting? Uh, yeah. One quick fire question. Away. Uh, you want to tell me about your pictures now? Sure, I guess. Curious about the wedding well, picture. I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago, that was 70 taken. years Could ago. Not talk about this yet. Oh, what about the mailbox? Know what they say. If it's yours, put your name on it. But yeah, that's my house. <laughs> well, 50 years ago, it was my house. Had to leave it behind when my powers kicked in. They just like part, spontaneously I was only got five installments Aww. away from paying off the mortgage. Oh. Um. Sure. Okay. What? Uh, you mentioned something about being an accountant? That's right. Back in my mundane days, back before my powers kicked in, I worked at the firm Weisel, Meltzer, and Sherman. There used to be a Beckett somewhere in the middle of that, but, well, you know. Um. Really yep. an accountant? I was damn good at it, too. I made partner in five years, worked at the firm for another 20. You had to know things to be an accountant back then. No computers to do half your job for you. And to make partner, you had to crunch numbers in your sleep. Gross, that hey, sounds awful. I ate him for breakfast. Sounds terrible. You make being an accountant sound so exciting. Well, it was, for me anyway. Lining up numbers in my head, making them dance and do what I want. My boss used to say it was like magic. Turns out the old man was being literal. Who knew? Being accounting is like doing magic? Wait, he was using magic to yeah. cheat at his job? Throwing a fireball or <coughs> preparing your tax return. Tomato, tomato. Uh huh. It's all just numbers. And I'm really good at equations and numbers. Always have been. Interesting. Uh, any thoughts on our last Jordan mission? didn't die quietly, but he died with dignity. Didn't shit himself. Went, Got it. He thanked me. I know we did the right thing. Nobody deserves an eternity of the... that. <sighs> that makes the nightmares bearable, at least. Jordan, I... Okay. Right. Leave me to it. 
For example, if you pick to let him live in, uh, as an eternal, the girl would be down in the sea. Oh, I see. And then Eli would be up with me. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. What's up? There is nothing to worry about, I assure you. You have completed your first field mission. You must have thoughts. Yes, let's do it again. As to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? Um Eager to get back out there. Yes, let's do it again. That is refreshing to hear. For some of us the unavowed is a calling, for others a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. Uh, you really think so? I would not say so if it were not true. Your old life, your time as a police officer, prepared you for this. It gave you discipline, authority. The unavowed has become lax in the recent decades. Perhaps you can help us with that. Why is my post in conflict of your channel moderation settings? I don't know. Uh, I think Automod has lost its mind. It thought waifu needed to be blocked. I also don't see a message that's asking. Uh, like normally when Automod happens, it'll tell us and then I'll, I have like an option to unblock it and I'm not seeing a message that's blocked. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's probably on Twitch's end, not mine. Cause I didn't change anything. <laughs> Um, the unavowed lacks authority. We are an ancient institution. We need new energy, new minds, new hearts. The unavowed has been without that for a very long time. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go talk to your genie daddy. Send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. I relax out. Major Hanum swallow you whole. Whoa, dude. Ah, you heard that, did you? Rude. It doesn't like Babylonian because it's baby in it? Okay, that's bullshit. It's only supposed to block like the word baby, not any word that baby is in. What is it doing? Uh. You said you were getting overwhelmed? Certainly. No doubt about it. I tried there to recruit no a lady. She didn't want any of it. Escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. A dragon? You will always regret it. Excuse me? A, a dragon? We're not going to talk more about that? Okay. All right. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's in the crystal? Is it, is it a magic phone? A magic phone? I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the unavowed. It allows us to communicate for whatever good that does. Uh, did I hear you right? You're speaking to a dragon? Yeah, let's a talk about the dragon. The head of the Dublin branch of the unavowed. Yes, she is old. Stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of most of us. I wrote my thesis on the Sumerian and the Babylonian death magic. You can ask me for help. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was an actual thing. Uh, call yes. the meeting. Duty calls. Duty calls. Do it. Do the thing. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh. This is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. Well, we don't need help. Are we? I am not so sure about that. 
Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. Okay. Uh, I think it went really well. That is to be determined. I think it went great. Mage Beckett, have you recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental? You mean Jordan? Yes. Physically, I'm fine. And otherwise? I'll recover. It had to be done. In that, we can agree. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the Again, first place. Again, it wasn't my fault. I gave it to him, or rather my demon self did. No, mm mm. My demon started a cult. It put Jordan in charge. I like that. My demon. My demon did it. My demon started the cult. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? I have thing? no idea. Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No. This was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. I wish I could remember. Fortunately, you won't have to. Oh? Ah, I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan. Thaumaturgic scan. Thauma uh, what? A magic thing. Checking objects for imbued magical energy. And I hit pay dirt. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. Nice. It's connected to you and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. Okay. Great, let's get to it. Uh, yeah, about that. The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. Ew. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. Okay, is that useful? Any information is useful, sooner or later. But in this case, it's sooner. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. Hmm. So we go and what, just look around? It's a tactic that's worked well for us so far. Very well. Check both areas for void activity, and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. dips out um okay let, let us we get to choose uh eli hey tapping the george terminal little fairy okay let us save I here. Song. Uh, Lowlands away. Um, isn't it? we'll save yes, here. An old They're just gonna keep talking. Being at sea just reminds me of younger days. Well, don't let no me stop, can you. stop them. We could use a bit of cheer on a dreary night like this. No, I shall not lose myself in the past. Let us proceed. They might be done. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here for today. Um, I will be back. Hmm. I want to say Tuesday. I'm thinking that my streams will probably start to become Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, because I can't do Sundays anymore. So yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I think. Uh, but pay attention to Twitter, to the Discord, um, to the schedule down below in like the little widgets. And uh, I'll try to keep them all up to date and let you guys know what I end up deciding, uh, what works best. But we will definitely be continuing this game. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Any Detective Supernatural thing has me 100%. So <laughs> totally here for this. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and do our credits. Uh, there might be somebody to send you to today. I am not sure. The weekends are usually a better chance for a raid. But let's get some, let's get some tunes. Let's, let's go back to that KK Slider song. I just love it so much. Yeah. All right. And then let's get our credits rolling. Okay. So thank you guys so much for being here with me for Unavowed. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I hope you are too. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys uh, probably Tuesday, <laughs> maybe Tuesday. And uh, Falstro, thank you for the resub. Happy 31 months. Thank you, thank you for the continued support, Falstro. I hope that you make it home safely. Anonymous Cheer, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you for the biddies. I really appreciate those. Uh, Blinded, thank you for the resub. Happy 31 months. Thank you for the continued support, Blinded, on a tier three, no less. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Blinded. Uh, Air, thank you for gifting a sub. To oh, wait, no, wait. That was last stream. That was it for today. That was it for today. Uh, let's see if there's anybody live right now. Maybe. Yes, the Akasambo is playing Fall Guys. I haven't seen anything of this game. Uh, but feel free to go play games with Akko. I will send you on a raid if I can figure out how to do it. There we go. There we go. I'll send you guys on a raid to Akko um, and you can play Fall Guys with him if you would like. He's having a casual stream today, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you next week. Again, keep an eye on all social media for the stream schedule. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. Bye!